What's up YouTube, Jeff back again from DopeTechDaily.com. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to unlock the bootloader on your Verizon Pixel 2. Now the Pixel 2 and Pixel 2 XL bought from the Google Store, it's really easy to unlock the bootloader using Fastboot. That's why a lot of people like to purchase their Pixel 2 or Pixel 2 XL from the Google Store and not from Verizon. Now typically Verizon has not allowed unlocking of the bootloader, but today a lot of people over on XDA and Reddit have discovered that it's actually pretty easy to unlock the bootloader on the Verizon Pixel 2, the smaller one, not the XL version. This is only for the smaller Pixel 2. Um, but you can actually unlock the bootloader very easily. Now this appears to be a mistake on Verizon's part and I don't think this is going to last but while you have the opportunity you might as well go ahead and unlock your bootloader if you're interested in flashing a uh, team win recovery project uh, and also rooting the phone perhaps uh, with magic. So let's go ahead and get right into it. It's very simple. The first thing you're going to want to do with your Pixel 2 obviously is go in and enable developer options if you haven't done so. Scroll to the bottom here, go into the system, Go in and find your build number into the about phone version. Tap on the build number seven times. It's going to enable developer options. You can see I've already done that. Then you'll want to go back, find developer options right there. You can see that if you scroll down, you'll be able to enable USB debugging, uh, OEM unlocking. So you can see right here, if we go to USB debugging, go ahead and hit OK. You'll notice that OEM unlocking is actually grayed out on the Verizon Pixel 2, so you can't actually enable that. That's not gonna be a problem. As soon as you enable USB debugging, you're gonna be ready to go. Now notice I do have my Mac here with the command line set up, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and connect my Pixel 2 using the included USB Type-C cable to my Mac. So go ahead and plug that right in. And you can see right there, it's connected. Easy way to check really quick is to make sure that it's connected is to do ABD devices and it'll show you the list of devices that are attached. It's going to start it. You're going to choose to allow debugging on your phone and then it might show unauthorized if you don't accept the uh, debugging on your phone. But once you accept debugging on your phone, you can go back and type ABD devices and there it is. So the Pixel 2 is connected now. Now what we want to do is go to ADB reboot bootloader. And then once we hit enter, it's going to boot your Pixel 2 into bootloader mode. So you can see right here on the Pixel 2 what it's going to do as I go through the process. Now if you don't have fast boot on your device, uh, I'll drop some links below. You can download that. You're going to need that on your computer in order to do this process. You can see that it's in bootloader mode right here. So now we can go and type in the following command, fast boot, flashing, lock, underscore critical, go ahead and hit enter. And you'll notice right here, you'll get on your phone, a prompt that says unlocking the bootloader allows you to install custom operating system, etc. Now this is going to erase your entire device. So if you make sure you have a backup before you do this, if you haven't backed up, don't unlock the bootloader. But assuming you've made a backup or you don't care about erasing the device uh, or possibly voiding your warranty with Verizon. This should not void your warranty with Google. Go ahead and hit the power button to unlock the bootloader. And so then that's gonna go ahead and do the process of unlocking the bootloader. It's going to wipe all the data. You can see the bootloader is unlocked. Software integrity cannot be secured. Uh, you can go through here now to go through and do the process of rebooting. You can see there at the bottom, it's going to erase the device now and set it back up. So now you've got an unlocked bootloader on your Pixel 2 from Verizon. You can go ahead and install um, custom recovery, Magis to get root, etc. I can do another tutorial if you guys are interested in that. I just thought this was really cool and wanted to do a short video to talk about it. I'll drop all the links below if you guys want to download uh, the Team Win Recovery Project or Magix to go through the root process. Also drop the links for the fast boot uh, ADB stuff if you need it for your PC or your Mac. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification icon so I can make future videos like this. I really appreciate you guys checking it out, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.